everybody. You know, Lent is just around the corner. And typically as Catholics, we say, oh, what are you going to give up for Lent? Or what are you going to give up for Lent? And my question to you is, what are you going to do? And the people on this video and myself would encourage you to join a small faith sharing group. You know, um, we started these faith sharing groups uh, a couple um, years ago during Lent. And there are some groups that started and didn't stop because what they're finding is that as they read the Sunday scriptures and as they answer these questions that come with it, you know, they're kind of growing in community and they are, you know, sharing their faith and sharing their challenges um, and sharing their challenges to their faith. And um, it's been really wonderful and supportive. And so what you'll see is you'll hear their, their stories. And then at the end of the video, there'll be some links where you can sign up and register for a small faith sharing group. This year, we're going to be all virtual. So you could be in your pajamas on a computer somewhere and click in to virtually get together with a group. So I would strongly encourage, if you have any questions, please call the parish office. If you want to host your own faith sharing group, if you have a bunch of friends that you really want to kind of rope into this, please let us know. Um, we look forward to seeing you and God bless. Years ago, if someone had asked me to join a small group, I would have said, no, thank you. Not really my thing. I don't have time for it. Those are excuses. I didn't feel comfortable. But I joined one and I have made some amazing friends and they've given me different perspectives on the gospel. And it's really interesting to hear how words from 2000 years ago still apply to our everyday lives. And they help me see that. And sometimes if I'm in a rut and I need some uplifting, you just mention it to them, even send a text. And before you know it, everyone has some words of wisdom or some uplifting picture or some words of encouragement. So having these friends in the small groups has really been a blessing to me, as well as seeing the gospel throughout the week from their different viewpoints as well. I would recommend small group to anyone. And if you're questioning whether you should, just give it a try. You never know. You might come up with some really great friends and get closer to God at the same time. It's like small church in the middle of the week. It's great. Hi, I'm Mark Jameson. Being part of a small group, has always been a wonderful experience. Over the years, I've been in several small groups and each has been very positive. It's a chance to deepen your faith, to share your faith with others, to learn more about the scriptures, and to meet parishioners that you may not otherwise see. So I would certainly encourage you to consider joining a small group this Lent. Thank you. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Rohr and I will be telling you about my experience with small groups. So I highly recommend joining a small faith sharing group. I have been in multiple different groups uh, with different age, ages of the participants, with either high schoolers or adults. And this past year I've been in a young adult small group, which I've loved being a part of. Um, what's really cool about being in a small group is we dive into scripture, we look at the Sunday mass readings, and then we talk about what God's doing in, in those um, scripture readings and then how we can apply that to our lives and imitate Jesus. What's really cool and extra special is that people bring their own personal testimonies and unique ways of how God is working in their lives and it's really cool to see that tie into scripture and kind of like bring things full circle. Hi, my name is Beth Cornetus. I've been a member of St. Anne's Church for 31 years. And I just wanted to take a moment to uh, talk a little bit about the small group formation um, uh, project that I've been involved with for the last several years. Our small group formation uh, was led by Elaine and Steve Hevner from St. Anne's. They are a wonderful uh, couple to facilitate a group. We have shared scripture. We, I have learned a lot through them. Old Testament, New Testament, um, teachings of Jesus Christ. And also importantly, they are able to facilitate the group and bring it to everyday meaning. So I felt it very valuable. We pray together, we learn together, and together, 
I feel we have become, I have become stronger in my faith, learned even more about the Catholic faith, and it has encouraged me to continue, and I'm hopeful to continue in my small group with Elaine and Steve and our members. And I just wanted to share, hopefully with the church community, that many other folks will feel the same. Hi, I'm Steve Hefner. My wife Elaine and I co-facilitate a small faith sharing group at St. Anne's. Being facilitators allows us to practice discipleship of and the evangelization for Jesus Christ. Studying the life of Jesus Christ through his gospels develops our relationship with him, bringing us closer to him. Sharing our thoughts helps us and those with us develop our faith. Members feed off each other, enhancing everyone's faith. Elaine and I are personally inviting each of you to join a small group. In addition, we ask that you prayerfully consider starting your own group as a facilitator. May God bless each of you. Hi, my name is Michelle Stewart, and I wanted to tell you why I love our small group faith sharing Bible study. About four years ago, my husband asked me if I wanted to participate, and I said no. I was so busy, and I did not want to join one more thing. And so he said, oh, just give it a try. So I did, and I love it. One of the things I love about it is we study the scriptures prior to the Sunday. And when I would go into church, this is not the priest's fault, it's my brain, I would sit down and I would be thinking about what I was going to make for dinner or what groceries I needed or what I needed to do that week. So now when I am in church and I hear these scriptures, they become alive to me because we studied them. I'll remember something the Lord showed me or something that somebody said. Um, this group is so wonderful. We have become a small community. They're not people that I would have known at church, but now because we all participate, we do it on Zoom, which is, I like that. Um, it's just really wonderful. We pray for each other. We care about each other. Um, I think the Lord has really um, opened my eyes to things in scripture and prayer. So with gratitude, I am sharing this video. I started participating in the small faith sharing groups around March of last year, so March of 2020. The first thing I like is that I get to preview the scripture and gospel readings from the next Sunday's um, Mass. And I also like how I am able to connect to the readings to my daily life. And the, the last thing, and it's such an extra added benefit is that I've really met and become closer to a lot of people in my St. Anne community. Hello, I just wanted to tell everybody how grateful I am that I was invited to the small group from St. Anne's um, in May. God is so good and he knows exactly what we need before we need it, that we needed a community in such an extended time of being isolated. Having this community, even though we cannot physically be together, we have that spiritual guidance and knowing that God is with us all the time and there are people praying for us all the time. And having that once a week virtual connection is priceless. Hi, my name is Dan Rohan. Um, basically, the best part about this adult faith sharing group is the fact that it is an adult faith sharing group. You know, you've got all of these youth groups, uh, everything that you can go to as a teen, uh, but not a whole lot that you can go to as an adult. Um, so if you're looking for that fellowship, if you're looking for that almost family kind of feel, uh, within your faith, um, and as an adult, you're just not really finding it, this adult faith sharing group is the spot to, to go. Um, 
you know, you, you definitely feel included. You feel like you've got somebody right there that you can talk to. Um, I'm in North Carolina and half these folks are in Maryland, you know, and I still make it a point to, to be there because you just feel so full at the end of it. Through my small group experiences, I learned to share my faith with others, listen to their faith, learn to pray spontaneously, um, and I just grew and was nurtured. I got familiar with the Bible, which is an ongoing process. I have grown so much through my experiences and relationships that I have developed with fellow believers. If you have not yet experienced being in a small group, um, I just strongly really urge you to consider joining a small group. It will bear much fruit in your life. Hi, my name is Lisa Knoll. I joined my first small group last Lent, um, and it was so awesome that our small group has continued to meet. We actually haven't stopped meeting since last Lent. Um, we all miss it. Um, we did it push through all through summer, even with vacations and things like that. We made it work. Um, and like I said, we've been meeting ever since. We've developed wonderful relationships with, with each other. Um, we're prayer partners for one another. Um, there are people that I may ne never have gotten this close to had it not been for the small group. Um, I have a new appreciation for the readings each Sunday, and, um, and I can understand them in a way I never could before. And getting perspectives from all different people and all their different, um, what they bring to the table with it, it's just, um, it's really enlightening. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So if you haven't joined a small group, I strongly strongly encourage you to, to to do one if you um if none of the times work for you last year um we just made up our own time and and got together and made up our own small group so get together with a couple of people and and create your own and if this is something you're looking for look on our website under parish events look in the bulletin call the parish office um, and we can get you all set up and get signed up for a small group this lent